what are examples of like servers that people could interact with? There are a few good ones that I've been using just for like my coding workflows. AWS has a bunch of servers for their documentation and okay. for like best practices and things like that. So you connect that to your coding agent and all of a sudden your agent has the ability to search AWS documentation. You say, how do I set up this EC2 instance? Okay. It'll use one of the resources provided or a tool <laughs> to get that information and give it to you rather than rely on whatever data it was basically trained on. I'm thinking matrix style, like, yeah. oh, I know Kung Fu now. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. Right? It's you... like jack in and now I know EC2 or whatever. I can speak AWS. <laughs> exactly. I, and actually, I love that. And I'm going to start, I'm, I'm stealing that now because, You're yeah, you, <laughs> thank you. For, I will credit you. You plug this in and your agent knows Kung Fu. Or okay. even worse, even harder, AWS. Yeah, and so like, exactly. <laughs> they have they have a CDK uh, server that's all CDK stuff. If you do any infrastructure code, like it's just convoluted because it's so many yeah. different acronyms, and they assume that you know all of them. And then also like the vision lines between the redundancy of certain things is like okay, well this is all about IPs, this is mm -hmm. all about security, this is all about user identity and it's like ah like it's it kind of gets hard to understand unless you are an infrastructure person and there's so much documentation that you have to sort through to do anything which it's good that it's there because it's necessary yeah but having an agent able to access it and kind of pull all the things together that you actually need makes yeah. the whole process just much more efficient and if you yeah. know it somewhat you can be like okay that's a hallucination but when you use these servers that are built pretty well they're tightened up huh yeah exactly it, you give context at the right time to the yeah. agent it's not guessing at things because it has more information 